once our two presenters are ready to actually start rolling video, our director, our DP, myself, the producer, everybody has to disappear from line of sight of the camera. It's the last World War II Royal Navy destroyer, and we're working with Dan Snow and our own presenter, Richard Cutland, on 360 VR video project, walking through the majority of the ship. There's a lot of opportunity for motion. One of the big questions we ask ourselves is like, why are we doing this in VR video as opposed to just with traditional cameras? One of the big answers to that always has to be, the space has to be information rich in almost all directions. If you just look around right now, I mean, it's a target rich environment. There's stuff everywhere around you. Using what we know about technology, things like virtual reality or augmented reality, to basically help bring history alive for young people that it's important for them to, to learn this part of their common heritage. Today at the Smithsonian, we're talking about the Warplanes to Siberia project. We will recreate the historic Alaska to Siberia route and fly several warplanes from the United States across the Bering Sea onto Siberia all the way to Moscow. Follow the Alaska Siberia project at alsib.org. HMS Belfast turrets are complex instruments that required around 50 men to operate. Three of the major components of each turret are the powder handing room, the shell room and the gun house. We're now in the powder handing room, the bottom of turret B, and this area is usually out of bounds to the general public. That's where you take one of these powder charges from the flash tight doors and place them into the hoist. This is all part of a strict fire containment process designed to reduce the chances of a single incoming round vaporizing the entire ship. Well, as you can see, the powder charge is now on its way up to the gun house. We're now one level up in the shell room. I was still serving in the army when I was approached by Wargaming and asked, you know, to, to do this. So the first project we did was at Bobbington Tank Museum, it's called Virtually Inside the Towns. What emerged were small, land-based ironclad battleships equipped with casemate weapons, the first tanks deployed in battle. We're now outside with this incredible replica of the Mark IV, and the first thing you notice is it's not a quick vehicle. No, this is combat speed. We're trying to be a little bit more mobile with our cameras. How do you deal with a dynamic presentational style where it's a little bit more extemporaneous and improvisational, it's not exactly scripted? During the storm one night, well, here we'll be inside of the engine room, we'll be in the operations room, we'll be up on the bridge, we'll be in the crew quarters. Here we are at the very bottom of the ship here. The engine room, you've got the boiler rooms there. This is where the action happens. Steam created there, drives the turbines, drives the propellers, pushing this mighty two and a half thousand ton vessel across the surface of the waves. The hardest thing for us, and it will be on this, is to have that appreciation of, although it's a conversation to each other, we also have to be aware that there's a third person in the room with us, the viewer. There's more of a feeling that you're sharing the space with these two guys as opposed to watching it as a casual observer. The camera is another person. So there's four of you in the room, the camera is one, Treat it like a person. So don't turn your back to him. Keep it slightly at a distance, personal space like this. You there hasn't been a lot of work done with VR video that moves, right? There's a lot of challenges there. There's issues of nausea, disorientation, complications with handling the camera. Just keep going up, nice and smooth, and not too fast, but just keep constantly up, okay. A bit of a learning curve for us from a presenting point of view because it comes with such a lot of difficulties that you don't have with a traditional to the camera presentation. I'm Dan Snow. I'm Richard Cutman from World of Warships. HMS Cavalier was once named the fastest ship in the fleet. That's right, and she's had a storied career from the frigid Arctic of the Mamansk run to the steamy seas of the Far East. And today we'll be exploring the ship in VR. So let's get started. Click the button to come aboard. <laughs> 